Thailand Outlook. Good evening, สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, a daily magazine program broadcasting every Monday to Friday from 6:45 to 7 p.m. on Radio Thailand FM 88. I'm Paul Ruto Pakan, and I'm Wana Chai j i t i w o n g Today we'll be talking about Ratcha p r a c h a s o m a s a i d e that will be celebrated next week, and what is His Majesty the late King Ramana's contribution to the success of Ratcha p r a c h a s o m a s a i Foundation. And also the second round of welfare card campaign recently unveiled by cabinet, and the Thailand Tourism Festival 2018 or TTF 2018 to be held in Bangkok next week. The cabinet has unveiled the benefits of the welfare card campaign, saying its support will allow card holders to actively pursue their careers and improve their quality of life, according to Commerce Ministry spokesperson p o n c h a i t i r o w e t The government will assign account officers or AOs from state financial institutions to assist low-income earners in navigating the program. AOs will analyze the information of each card holder and compare suggestions to improve their quality of life. AOs will come from the government saving bank, the Bank for Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives, and other related government agencies. Each AO can direct unemployed card holders or those seeking to change employment to new positions. The Ministry of Labor and the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives have prepared a list of over 100,000 vacancies across the country, and about 7,000 abroad. The campaign will also offer career development workshops with a maximum capacity of 2 million people to interested card holders. Prime Minister General Prayut Chan Ocha has held bilateral discussions with the Chinese Premier on the sidelines of the Lanchang m a k o n g Cooperation Summit, with China voicing readiness to support Thai rice and rubber production, aiming to increase trade to 120 million U.S. dollars in value over the next three years. General Prayut held his discussion with Chinese Premier Li Keqiang while the two are attending the Lanchang m a k o n g Cooperation Summit held in Cambodia yesterday. The two leaders agreed to continue to promote economic ties, with China voicing readiness to support Thai agricultural goods. Meanwhile, China's State Councillor Wang Yong has scheduled a visit to Thailand to view Uthapao Airport and the Eastern Economic Corridor project, which has attracted the interest of Chinese enterprises, especially those in the technology sector. As for next week's interesting event, Thailand Tourism Festival 2018 to be held at Suan l u m p i n i Local and international tourists are invited to discover the kingdom's amazing attractions at the Thailand Tourism Festival 2018 or TTF 2018 to be held in Bangkok's g l u m p i n i Park from 17th to 21st January, according to the Tourism Authority of Thailand's Governor, Mr. y u t h a s a k Supasorn. The incredible experiences and attractions on offer all across Thailand are being showcased. At this year's Thailand Tourism Festival or TTF 2018, plus a delicious array of food, fascinating culture, live music, and more, the 38th edition of the festival will be made up of 10 zones, including "Follow in the King's Footsteps," showcasing the art and sign of His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n Adun Yadet, domestic travel products, discover Thailand in five regions, unique culinary delight zone. The main state zone that hosts the opening ceremony and VIP reception area, plus a variety of Thai cultural and contemporary performances from leading Thai artists, and the TAT studio that showcases the work of the TAT and its new promotional campaign, Amazing Thailand Tourism Year 2018. Also, there is the outdoor fest zone that showcases outdoor adventure tourism, TAT Lab. That featured fascinating products and activities targeting seniors, Gen Y, families, and women. 
See Asia Trash to Treasure Zone, designed to raise awareness among visitors, including an array of activities such as lucky draws and souvenirs. Pracharat Zone, held in collaboration with partner organizations in various sectors. The Thailand Tourism Festival 2018 will be held at Lumpini Park from 17th to 21st January, from 12 to 22 hours. Visitors are encouraged to arrive via BTS Sala Dang Station or the MRT Underground Silom Station. Thailand Outlook. Now we will hear from Professor Thira Ramasuta. President of Rajaprasha Sumasai Foundation, under patronage of His Majesty the King, speaking about the success of Rajaprasha Sumasai Institute in coping with a leprosy problem, and what is His Majesty the late King Ramanai's contribution to the achievement of leprosy control program in Thailand. Well, as you know, Rajaprasha Sumasai means the king and the people helping one another. So. Our foundation, particularly leprosy control program, has received numerous support locally and from the overseas in various forms, such as financial as well as technical. This has led to the growing reduction of leprosy cases over the years and eventually to the sustainable elimination of leprosy as a public health problem in 2012. Without His Majesty relentless support, this success would not have been possible. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the situations and how much and problems or disease, uh, leprosy disease, uh, have been improved in recent years in, in the country? Well, uh, as you know, our Ministry of Public Health uh, had launched the new leprosy control program since uh, 1956 under uh, I- I- initiation of His Majesty King Pumi Poladundet. So after he donated uh, his personal fund to establish Lat Pachatama Sai uh, and Lisa Center, we, are able to, we were able to train and produce an adequate number of parliamentary workers to work in the mobile team to launch the case fighting program by making house-to-house surveys to the house of patients. After 19 years, we were able to cover case fighting in the whole country by a mobile team. And when we, we train the existing physician and health staff of each province to carry on the integrated leprosy control program in each province. So this is a, the great success. And after that, the prevalence rate or rate of leprosy case per 10,000 operation declined from 50 per 10,000 at the beginning 60 years ago to less than 1 per 10,000 in 1994. So that indicates that uh, leprosy in Thailand had achieved the target of the elimination of leprosy as a public health problem in 1994-97. And by 2012, we achieved this sustainable elimination of leprosy. Yeah, yeah. this is a great success. The success that you mentioned this can be the inspirational model for international community to you know, to follow, right? Given the fact that uh, back in the time when Raja Pachar Samasai was established, various sectors from international community came uh-huh. to Thailand to, to join hand with the institutions um, to further, you know, uh, improve mm-hmm. the researching and training activities. So now it, it should be the time when th- Thailand can announce uh, this kind of success to international community. Or, so this should be the, the pride for the country, right? Oh, yes. As, 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 as we mentioned before, that after uh, His Majesty the King, uh, His Majesty King Pumimhano dead, uh, established the Lat Pachata Masai Institute, Foundation, and School. This is the, the main vital three pillars to support the leprosy control program. So after his contribution, all international 
and national agencies like uh, WHO, UNICEF, the uh, Leprosy Foundation from Japan, from Netherlands, from Germany. They come to help overwhelming, to support in terms of the cars, uh, budget, drugs, training, research, so that we are able to expand the Leprosy Control Program to cover the whole country. Uh, without His Majesty King Pumiponorunde, it is not possible. Raja Prasha Soma Sai Day will take place on 16 January, where a wide range of activities at leprosy related centers and institutions around the country will be held. That was another edition of Thailand Outlook here on Radio Thailand. We hope you enjoyed your time here with us and have a safe drive home if you're still on the road. Thailand Outlook. Outlook.